you should now be standing near the cove and the site where the Ford's boathouse once stood. Look out to the protected cove. Etzel Ford adored these waters. He enjoyed boating of all types, speedboat or sailboat, and he owned an impressive collection of both. This cove, this gentle body of water in front of you, was home port for many of Etzel's boats. On summer mornings, Etzel would sometimes walk from the house down the driveway to this spot. He'd climb on board one of his motorboats, briefcase in hand. He'd push forward the throttle and motor away. Across the lake, up the Detroit and Rouge rivers to his office at the Ford factory. Not a bad commute to work. Now look toward the narrow isthmus leading out to the peninsula. It was there that the boathouse stood for many years, jutting out over the cove. The boathouse was home to several of Etzel's boats. They had names like Typhoon, Slapstick, and Greyhound. The estate staff, the adults and their children, used the boathouse for a different purpose, fishing. Here's Art Fowser Jr whose father was a chauffeur for the Ford family. We used to fish in the boathouse. My brother and I, my dad would fish for bass and bullheads. And, and we enjoyed that very much, that Mr. Ford's boats were right there. We avoided touching them, but you know, not to scratch them. The boathouse is no longer standing, but the memories remain of hot summer days, children laughing, and of course, plenty of fish stories. 